Hey, COVID kids. Wait, I just said I'm just Hi, everyone. Hi. This week has been a really good week. We went hunting and got a mouse. What? Wow. And now we're going to try and... We're gonna try and turn it into a pelt. And I lost a tooth. And I lost three teeth. For a couple days, when his teeth were falling out, he couldn't eat like anything. <gasps> yep, but now my new ones are growing in and God's taking good care of me. We're gonna start with our favorite morning song. You ready? Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child, show me your way. Good morning, God, this is your day. I am your child, show me your way. I know you all really like that song, and Allie recorded a special rendition of it for us. Good morning, God, this is your day. I am your child, show me your way. Good job, Allie, wasn't that great? Yes, good job. We have some fun things to share today and our friends from Bethel Covenant Church have been joining us each week for their Sunday school time. And Miss Tia from the Bethel Church and Pastor Adam are gonna join us and we're super excited to hear from them this week also. Hello, Covenant kids. I am Pastor Adam and I live in Bethel. And these are two of my kids. This is Tobias and Thaddeus. And we have been having so much fun watching the Covenant kids with you in Nome. And hey, look, there's Thomas. Oh, that way I need to go. That's Thomas. Those are three of my boys. We have five kids. I actually used to be the youth pastor in Nome. So it's so fun to do children's church together. And so we are going to do a little bit of Covenant kids today. And so Tia, who is our children's ministry leader, she is going to do a short little devotion um, about when we get hurt, Jesus can heal our hurts. He loves us very much. Hi, I'm Tia from Bethel. Have you ever lost a tooth? I got this tooth pulled out a couple of weeks ago. It hurt. Do you remember a time when you got hurt? So today, where my tooth was pulled out of my mouth, um, it no longer hurts, and it's because God allowed for my body to heal. He also wants to heal every part of us. In Isaiah 53, 5, it says, by, And by his wounds we are healed. So Jesus loves us so much that he took the pain for us so our hearts can be healed. This happens when we believe Jesus is God's son. Thank you, Tia. Now my kids want to help us sing a song. So what song do you think we should sing, kids? Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. And if you couldn't hear, Thomas is speaking off screen. But we are going to sing Jesus Loves Me. And I think almost all of you know that song. So sing it with us loud and proud. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Yes. I want to show you something that's happening here. This looks pretty yucky, doesn't it? Kind of like our world looks a little bit today. Sometimes people are sick and sad and um, everybody's missing their friends with the pandemic, but God has a special message for us. And you can see just a little glimpse of it in my flower bed. Well, this used to be flowers. Last fall, there were big, beautiful purple flowers here, but then they died. And everything got covered with snow and frozen. But I want to show you something. Come here. Inside all this yucky brokenness, here is a new 
little plant that has begun to grow all on its own. I didn't do that. God made it to grow from the broken and rotted and old. He is making something new. That's what God says in Revelations 21, 5. The, he says, I who sit on the throne say, behold, I make all things new. Come here, I have another spot I wanna show you. Look over here. See how yucky this looks? Can you imagine that underneath there is something green and new starting to come forth. See these little green leaves? They're just starting. Can you imagine that those are gonna be beautiful pink flowers soon? They will be because God talks about how he's gonna wipe the tears from our eyes, take the sadness from our hearts, and how he loves to make old broken things new. And we're gonna hear some more about that. This is a favorite song of ours from Children's Sermon Time, and it's from that passage we just talked about, Isaiah 43, where God says, because we're precious and because he loves us, he will be with us. And when we go through hard things, he will be doing something new. He heals us. He keeps us safe. He always has a good plan for us. Let's sing about it, okay? Here we go. so much that it would come back this year. It got cold and everything died. You can see, oh, lots of just old plants. And several times I've come out and I've looked and I've looked to see if there's anything green and alive. And it looked to me like my hoped for strawberries are dead. But one of my favorite parts about our wonderful God is how he makes things new even from broken and sad places in our heart. Maybe there's something on the inside of you that's sad, a broken place in your heart. He can do a new thing there. He can heal even our hearts. Maybe your summer feels ruined because you were gonna take a trip and now you can't. God can take care of those sadnesses. Maybe you feel lonely because you can't see your friends right now knows about that and for what seems old and dried and awful he can do an amazing new work god is always doing something new listen to this from one of the best chapters in scripture isaiah 43 it says thus says the lord who created you that reminds us that god's the one who made us he knows how to take care of us he says fear not i have redeemed you and called you by name he knows your name. He knows everything you face. Listen to this part. He says, because you are precious in my eyes and honored and I love you. That's what Jesus says about you. He loves you. And it says, behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Can you see it? I will make rivers in the wasteland. Imagine a sad, desolate desert where it's just rocks and nothing is living, or a sad strawberry box where everything is brown and dead and dried. God can do a good thing even where things seem broken. 
today, I looked one more time. I read this verse and I thought, I wonder if there's any chance that there's something good happening in my strawberry box and I missed it. Come see what I found hidden in the corner. Sure enough, look here. There are little green leaves beginning. And look over here in this corner. A little bit of life has begun where I thought that everything was dry and sad and broken. Jesus told us that he's the creator and he creation shows who he is. And from this strawberry box, I see something about Jesus that he can take sad and broken things and begin to do something new and beautiful. He can heal the heart parts in us that hurt, even just like a tooth that it falls out and everything seems wrong and you have a hole in your gum and then a new tooth is already coming. So if there's some part of your heart that is sad, don't be discouraged. God is doing a new thing. Has Jesus healed you? Does he love you? He does. And so we are going to pray real quick, and Thaddeus is going to help us pray. Go ahead, Thaddeus. Thank you for me. And Dad and thank you for Thaddeus. Lord, I thank you for how you love us so much that you don't want us to stay hurt. You want us to heal our boo-boos. You want to heal our hurts inside of our hearts. And Lord, that you love us so much that you want us to be your children and to share your love with other people. Lord, I pray that you'll help us to be your servants. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, George friends. God keeps us safe.